talk to me. If you feel the need or when you need to feel it, talk to me. If you feel the need or when you need to feel it, talk to me. Hola Toros, I'm Timothy Go. That's IT is in unfamiliar territory this week. We are coming to you from the city of Barcelona in Catalonia, España. A city rich in culture, tradition, architecture, and mobile phones. Yep, Barcelona is playing host to the who's who of the mobile telecommunications industry in an annual gathering that gives us a crystal ball view of the shape of things to come inside, outside, and around our mobile phones. Thin, fast, 3 megapixels, HSPDA, GSM, you name it, it's decided right here, right now. Ironically, at this time of the year, mobile phone circuits get overwhelmed in Barcelona. More than 50,000 people participate in the annual 3GSM World Congress. This is where the wireless community come together to meet and greet each other. But more importantly, this is the event where mobile phone makers and service providers are put on the spotlight for the world to see. I've been wanting to attend this event for some time now, given my passion for looking and touching beautifully made mobile phones. And there are no shortages of those in Barcelona. I promise to show you more a little bit later on in the show. This year, I was given the opportunity to rub shoulders with a who's who of the mobile telecom industry, and I didn't miss it for the world. The 3GSM is the mother of all mobile telecom conventions, where trends are forecast and decided on. Movers and shakers from all over the world are represented here. Oh, it's very exciting. I think um, it's great for our partner relationships, really. It's a great place to, to, um, to network, but it's also really great for us to see what our um, uh, worldwide uh, um, operators are doing. And we're really um, working more closely with our international group here and really starting to share insights about consumer adoption and usage. And this is really a great forum for doing that. This is where the industry comes together. This is the best way of saving time to meet in one place the entire ecosystem of you know, customers, partners, and vendors. So it's very efficient for executives to be here and meet with each other, get deals done, but uh, also learn new trends and most importantly, learn about new services that we can launch in the market. Well, typically, people really look at 3GSM for what announcements have come out. And um, you may have seen our Windows Mobile 6 launch, which is a fantastic uh, progress given the growth rates that we've experienced. Uh, and the success that we see ahead of us. So yes, this is a very important milestone and it does dictate the year ahead of us in the sense that you will see more action from us and I think that's what people are all saying. Um, you know, partner in this space and grow together. This year, the biggest attraction is India. Here are the numbers. India has 150 million subscribers, but market penetration is only 15%. India is already the world's fourth biggest mobile market behind China, the United States, and Russia. India is also the fastest growing major market this year, and it is expected to overtake Russia. Now that represents a big opportunity for businesses. On the other hand, there was little noise about China, which I've been told was often likened to a hair against India's tortoise in past 3GSM events. Top players like China Mobile and China Unicom were nowhere to be seen. The world has been waiting for the Chinese government to award 3G licenses, but so far it's not happening. And what is the buzzword in Barcelona? Convergence. It is touted as the mobile model of the future, but is it as good as it sounds? By simply looking at all the new handheld devices that run mobile TV, music downloads, and video cameras, one would be forgiven to think the age of convergence is finally upon us. Maybe it already is, because at the 3GSM World Congress, industry guys seem to be talking more and more about closer ties with the entertainment sector. This is not the first time, of course, we heard the same buzz at the CES in Las Vegas. And it seems like service providers don't have much of a choice because it's a strategy for profit. And consumers don't seem to mind. Surely I don't. Industry of mobile communications is fundamentally changing a lot.
Um, and there's a lot of trends in convergence, of course, of uh, the traditional telecommunications world of voice and data services merging with uh, social networking uh, phenomena and IP networks, which allows much more user-created uh, content to emerge. And I think in the, in the future, what you'll see more and more is that telecommunications companies, and particularly the current service providers in, in Asia, are not just activating new subscribers, they need to rapidly launch many more new services in the market. And they need to do that because their margins are under pressure and they clearly are, are, are on the shareholder pressure to grow their, their top line as well as their, their bottom line. So they look for partnerships. They look for partnerships that allow them to um, create new consumer services, new business services, and particularly leverage their existing networks, whether it's fixed or mobile networks. That doesn't matter so much any, anymore. It's really the convergence of that web 2.0 infrastructure with the telecommunications infrastructure together. So there's a dramatic change ahead of us. But insiders I spoke with all confess a lot of work has yet to be done before we can really have seamless interactivity on our phones. But rest assured, work is underway to make our mobile phones switch tasks from phone calls to instant messaging to watching TV and listening to your favorite music. Oh, the mobile communication is the future. Uh, the, there's no question. It is a very big, um, there is still a very big untouched area uh, in, the, uh, in the mobile environment. And uh, the future is limitless. Convergence-wise, where do you see it going? Because, you know, the, the mobile communication meant mobile phone for a long time, but it's a past. The future is that everybody will have one handset which provides all kinds of the uh, services which people will need in the mobile environment. So uh, the opportunity in the future will be almost limitless and it is just going to start now. In the United States, industry insiders are seeing a rising trend of both business and consumers moving from simple voice functions to more integrated services on their mobile handsets. Well, I think consumer adoption of these has just begun. And I think one of the reasons is it's been highly focused on the mobile professional. And this is a great pivot point, I think, for Windows Mobile, as well as for T-Mobile, to have devices that are more um, accessible, approachable, at affordable price points with, with simple UI and uh, great design. And that's what consumers care about, is good price, good value. And here in Asia, we, the consumers, are pushing companies further. We're asking for more services for our mobile phones. Asia is a phenomenally interesting place for mobile, um, for mobile consumers especially. If you look at the difference in markets, where right, India, the PC distribution is fairly little compared to the mobile capabilities of the country. So clearly, to reach segments, mobile devices become the entry point for internet access, for learning, for knowledge, not just for consumer entertainment. Um, in China, it's a similar situation, although their broadband penetration is far greater in, in China than it is in India. And in many other Asian countries, the challenge of GDP per capita, or spending, spending power, uh, is clearly influencing the need for innovation. You need to innovate at the lowest price point. That puts pressure on hardware manufacturers, software manufacturers, and operators bring together a compelling experience that's at the lowest possible cost. Nonetheless, Microsoft remains excited with what it can offer convergence in years to come, especially in Asia and specifically in the entertainment field. We are very bullish on the IP television market for consumers because it is personalized TV and allows you to uh, have a screen experience with a number of services. So for example, you could do picture-in-picture uh, -picture, um, viewing, but not just that, you might be able to do instant messaging on your screen while you're watching a movie. So that converged service is available for consumers in the very, very near future. And uh, it's very exciting because it's a revolutionizing television industry. But for now, it seems the telecom industry's enthusiasm for convergence is slow to infect the general public. 
the real reason they haven't been adopted more broadly has been that they haven't been as simple to use. And I think this is a great stride forward for us. How much our mobile phones can do really depends on how much we can multitask. The more we can do, the more our mobile gadgets can do for us. That's IT in Barcelona. We'll be right back. Visitors to Hong Kong splurged during this Lunar New Year holiday, but locals, it seems, were not spending. Find out why on Pound Chan News. Okay, bye. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, yourself. There he goes again. Finally, we can have some meaningful conversation. Sure, <laughs> we can chat all night if you want. Oh, good. Let's get comfortable then. Oh, great. Well, he did say he wanted to talk all night. To enjoy unlimited mobile calls from home, connect to Singtel Mio. <laughs> Connect to Singtel Mio Mobile for as little as $15 per month and enjoy unlimited mobile calls from home with these phones, including the new Nokia E65. Mio. In this new season of Who's Who in China. <laughs> Masters in art education for children and fast. Wang Wukang and Hu Yunqi share their passion for the art with Yang Ming and the joy of their choices. Who's Who in China? Thursday and Friday at 7.30 p.m. They are men with a mission to protect and preserve their country's peace. The Singapore Armed Forces. Drop in on their biggest and most extensive airland integrated exercise to date. See how they train their people for battle and find out about some of their weapons of warfare. Concept to Capability. Tuesday, 27th February at 9.30 p.m. on Channel News Asia. That's IT is in Barcelona this week for the 3GSM World Congress. And I know for a fact many of you out there decide on your mobile phone based on the overall look. Whether it be slim, candy bar, flip, slide up, what's sexy is really up to you. But have you ever thought of the software that runs the applications inside our mobile phones? In order to experience true convergence, we require something fast, yet simple. Hardware manufacturers are trying their very best to pack in more features into a more compact phone. Now, software is also moving forward to offer a friendlier user interface. After all, it is the interface that we have to navigate constantly to get to the functions and services we require. Microsoft launched Windows Mobile 6.0 in Barcelona to meet the challenge. The smartphone operating system now gives us the closest possible PC experience right in our smartphones and it incorporates all that is great about the PC version of the Windows Vista. Too good to be true? Well, I ask around to find out more from the people behind it. What we've done is done a whole bunch of things that make it easier for customers. We've added richer email, so, you know, you can do things like, you can now go in here and see all the fonts and colors that your email's meant to have. So if I go in here, you can see I've got pictures in my mail, I've got bold, I've got italics. Really rich experience. So just like how it is if you get that exactly. email in your PC. Exactly. In fact, our research shows that roughly 80% of the email people send in the world is HTML mail. So having HTML on this device is bringing back the richness into the mobile experience. So it's great. OK, apart from the uh, mobile worker, though, who else are you targeting this platform for? Well, great question. One of the things we've done with this release is we've integrated support for Windows Live into Windows Mobile 6. Windows Live has over 200 million customers around the world using free live mail, using live messenger. We've integrated that right into the device. So now on my home screen, I can use live search to search the web easily. I can go in here and contact all my buddies in live messenger. 
and I can even go in here and get live mail and use HTML mail with live. Okay, I'm almost sold, but I got some specific questions to ask. Specifically, how would you make it easier for people like us to be using this? Great question. We've done a whole bunch of things. Everything from changing which buttons are displayed. So for example, when you're going through mail, we actually make delete the default key, because that's the thing most people do. Adding things like HTML mail, we've also added in a new wizard that makes it so much easier to set up email. So we work with hundreds of types of email, and now it's very easy in a few clicks, you can easily set it up. Okay, and how similar is it uh, with a PC experience? Well, do you get the same thing in a smaller window? You get a lot of it. Um, you get, in fact, one of the things we've done is we've taken the Vista look and feel for this release. You get Office Mobile, you get Live, as I've mentioned, and we have over 18,000 applications. So just like Windows on a PC, you get a lot of choice. Games, music, it all works really well. Okay, and as you were talking about the Vista, what sort of the Vista innovations do you have in this Windows 6.0? Well, we've got a great one. Vista comes with this new thing called Windows Mobile Device Center. So it's a central place to manage all aspects of your Windows Mobile 6 device. I can manage my email, my counter contacts, and music and pictures. So for example, when I plug in a Windows Mobile 6 device to Vista, it treats it like a camera. So if I've taken new pictures with my phone, and most phones have camera, what will happen is Vista will automatically tell me I've got new pictures and offer to move them over for me. Um, one of the nice things I should mention we've added is we've also added a big customer request. You can now actually send contacts via SMS, which is something our customers in Asia have all been asking for for, for a couple of releases. Convincing. But are service providers really satisfied with what the Windows Mobile 6.0 can offer their customers? Things like um, faster access to email and, and, and easier connections to the people that matter most for them. The shortcuts that were demonstrated as well as the integration of the My Faves application, which is a, a T-Mobile branded experience for our users, really help, I think, simplify access to those people. The user friendliness is most important thing and what is, has been missing in many products in the past. So we believe this uh, level of the user friendliness uh, uh, to be uh, the brought uh, by uh, the Windows uh, Mobile 6 would be satisfactory, would not fail to satisfy our business users. We are a firm believer of the uh, convergence of the PC internet world and the mobile communication world. That's the reason why we jumped into the, uh, the uh, mobile communication carrier business. And for that, the, it is indispensable for us to have uh, uh, the very strong platform. And Microsoft Windows, uh, the uh, mobile six, uh, just fits to, that, to such needs of us. Well, one of the selling points for Microsoft is having integrated the best of its PC look and feel into the smartphone OS. Our focus since we started was to think about a consistent platform. We really feel that that kind of a consistent platform is what's going to enable uh, development of great applications and services. Well, with Windows Mobile, they see those same things, whether it's a start button that opens up certain menus, whether it's opening up an email and it looks similar to what's on your desktop. So we think that we've taken those experiences and made them consistent, and that's why it becomes so easy for people to very easily use our products. So it's exactly the same as what I get in my PC? It's not exactly the same. Obviously, with a smaller device with a smaller screen, there's certain changes that have to be made. And we've thought about that. But the idea was to get as consistent as we could. So again, it became simple and easy for people to use. It is Karen's responsibility to make the Windows Mobile 6.0 look good. So she's giving us the highlights of the phone. She's just doing her job. Well, we took our cameras outdoors to find out what real people here in Barcelona have to say about the innovations announced in their own backyard. La persona profesional está buscando sobre todo que tengan aplicaciones de Symbian o Windows Mobile para poderle poner 
diferentes aplicaciones, tanto de oficina para poder leer documentos, como también un GPS, un callejero, o sea, para tenerlo todo en el móvil desde el punto de vista. Y el iPhone, pues bueno, ya es como que un nivel más avanzado, el, el, el próximo paso en móviles, ¿vale? Lo que es la maniobrabilidad y la facilidad de poder manejar un móvil simplemente con las manos, ya ni siquiera tienes que tener el puntero para poder manejar el PDA, sino que simplemente con las manos lo puedes hacer, además de la implementación, es simplemente tener el ordenador en la mano. Prefiero un teléfono más gordo y que vas a como una compu, o sea, poder verificar mis email y cuando sea, porque ahora siempre se necesita cuando sea, más que, yo no uso tanto para la música o las fotos, pero sí, los email me interesa bastante, o sea, que sea más gordo, pero que se puede leer bien los email. Yo creo que preferiría el de la música, como camino un montón, me gusta ir escuchando música todo el tiempo y pues si tengo un teléfono que además me ayuda a caminar y entretenerme, pues prefiero ese a que la computadora, porque bueno, mi portátil para eso sirve al final, entonces, pues yo no la ocuparía mucho. I must admit, I am not a smartphone user myself just yet, but after seeing how much smarter they've become, I might just consider. In the meantime, I will stick to my passion of collecting beautiful mobile phones are coming right up. We'll show you the sexiest mobile phones released here in Barcelona. Visitors to Hong Kong splurged during this Lunar New Year holiday, but locals, it seems, were not spending. Find out why on Pound Time News. NTUC Income, together with 938 Live, organized an investment outlook seminar at Suntec City. The seminar attracted nearly 400 people. It offered insights into the current investment climate and discussed the issues facing investors. It's always good to have uh, up-to-date information uh, to improve your own personal strategy. I still believe in the, in the, in the fund for the NTUC, especially the combined fund is very diversified. So I have not, nothing much for me to worry. I just put the money up there and I sleep very peacefully. Times are good now until the end of March. April come down a bit and July, August pick up again. So but basically the whole year it should be okay. My 38 Life listeners had a chance to learn from several experts what are the important factors to look at for 207. Some of them have decided that it is really too complicated. They might as well leave the hard work of investing to the experts. Tomorrow on Parental Guidance, a third party comes between James and Leigh. She is the maid from hell. Justin, don't ask so many questions. Children, don't bother your parents. Welcome to the family, uh, Mimosa. You're welcome. Be a man, Mr. Stito. Fire that me. <laughs> Parental Guidance, tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. on Vibe. What is a woman's best friend? Diamonds. Diamond? <laughs> Can diamond be cooked? <laughs> well, that is a woman's best friend. I think he must be the best nest. Bird's nest, American ginseng, and other herbal gems. From classic recipes to exciting new interpretations with Cheryl Fox and Chef Thomas Chai on Herbalicious Thursday, 8.30 p.m. This program is brought to you by Yu Yen Sang. Talk to me. That's IT is in Barcelona this week. Mobile phone manufacturers are investing heavily on the design and the overall look of their phone. Form factors, as they call it. Now, if you asked me two years ago what phone to buy, I'd tell you it depends on your needs. Ask me that same question now, and I'll tell you, go out and buy whatever suits your outfit. Coming up now is a bird's eye look at the latest, flashiest phones released here in Barcelona.
Design is really our heritage and it's our, our lifeblood. And we really think about design, we think about form factor, and then the colour, the materials, the finishes, because when we do our consumer research and our insights, what we found is that consumers want great design. Slim, good looking, portable. But at the same time, what we also learned is they want to have great experiences. And now that we've learned all about the software that runs the applications inside our smartphones, it's time to have a look at the hardware released here at the 3GSM Congress in Barcelona. Vete pa' la fiesta, sí, donde la canción más brilla y el corazón palpita. Vete pa' la plaza, vete pa' la plaza, sí, siento que para el... Ah, look at the time. It really zooms by when you're having fun. Time has its way of pushing you forward, just like the mobile telecom industry, doesn't it? Well, my next destination is unknown, but at least I know which phones I'm going to get my hands on this year. Yes, phones with an S. But for now, it's adios y hasta el próximo semana. I'll see you next week. That's it. Channel News Asia, a network of Mediacorp News. This is Channel News Asia. Time by F.P. John. Brought to you by Sincere Fine Watches. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melvin Young. And I'm Glenda Chong. You're watching Primetime News on Channel News Asia. In the headlines, a pullout from Iraq. Britain says its troops in Iraq will be cut substantially in coming months. The U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney vows America... Korea, land of the morning calm. But the calm breaks once you mention digital electronics. Hello everyone, I'm Timothy Go, and this week on That's IT, we take you soul searching on the streets of Seoul. <laughs> 